Security League, and you know it. Well, all right, then. You come with me. Come on, we'll go down there to the end of the street, and you tell us. Nothing doing. I have a bank to open. Besides, you're the mayor. You tell us. You're making a public spectacle of me, and I don't like it. I'm very sorry, Miss Jones. Don't call me Miss Jones. You don't know me that well. My name's Clementine. And I want you to know, all of you fine, upstanding members of the Cinnabar Purity League, that the deed you've done this day and the wound you've inflicted will never, never heal. I will carry it festering in my bosom to my grave. Miss Jones. Please. He who steals my purse steals trash. But he that filches from me my good name... Clemmy, I want you to know that my hands are tied. As a public servant, I've got to follow the will of my constituents. Never mind the speeches, Wilbur. We're here to put this woman on the stage. Yeah. Right? Uh, is there anything I can do? Well, we've got kind of a, of a nervous meeting here, Chris. <laughs> Yes, the Clap Hands and Boiler and Oil Society. Want to join? Afraid I'd be outnumbered in the voting. Uh, bank open yet? Yeah, cashier just went in. Thanks. Well, good luck, miss. The bank. That reminds me. Odd man stays with the horses. Heads. Heads. Good luck, boys. Make it a sweet one. Sam, well, I see the old pen still scratches just like it did last year. <laughs> Half a million dollars in assets seems like you could buy a little sandpaper or something to smooth it up. Uh, you don't know our board of directors. <laughs> uh, when are you pulling out? Tomorrow morning before sunup, my luck holds. Luck? Every time I hit this town, a barn falls on me. <laughs> well, you don't want to get superstitious. <laughs> no, I don't. All I want to get is out of Cinnabar with a whole hide. Funny thing, every time I set foot in this town... Put up your hands. Something happened. Get the cash box. The, 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 the safe's locked. Then open it. I don't know the combination. I got a short fuse, mister. Now open up that safe. Better do what the man says, Sam. Excuse me. <laughs> what I tell you, sweet as sugar. I know the stage is waiting, but it's going to wait five minutes longer until I draw out my $17.40. Well, why didn't you do this yesterday? I didn't think of it yesterday. But the stage will take off without you. I don't care. I wouldn't leave 17 cents in this town, much less $17. I don't know. You hit her, she's hurt. You hurt? You, know, you ought to look where you're shooting. I'm sorry, you got in front of me. I, I couldn't. You started this whole thing, Chris Hale. If you hadn't knocked him down, we wouldn't have had no shooting at all. If the lady's hurt, it's all you're doing. Every time you come to this town. I'm sorry. One and all, I'm sorry. It was a nice, peaceful bank robbery, and I'm sorry I messed it up. Oh, another sour one. Three in a row. Jerry, you'll be in our jail in about five minutes. Look, we split up, take three different directions. We meet in Saunders in four or five days. You got that? Saunders. Saunders. The next one's got to be sweet. Will you shut up? Let's go. Am I hurt? I haven't got down to it yet. I don't know what's keeping it, sure. Good, Christopher, nobody sent for it. Well, it's high time somebody did. Go get the law, somebody. Yes, sir.
morning, Sheriff. Morning, Wilbur. Give me a roll of quarters. <laughs> Piece about a week ago. You're uh, all alone then? I expect so. What are you gonna do? I ain't thought on it yet. I figured the thinking could wait until the burying was done. Come to take one thing on at a time. Only one thing I am set on. Well, what's that? Getting to California. You know, I was kind of, kind of set on that myself. You going to California? Yeah, well, as a matter of fact, I was, uh, just looking for an outfit to tie up with. You wouldn't need a partner, would you? I might think on it. You know, a boy like you, you just can't go to California all by yourself. I can try. Who are you? My name's Willie Mayo. I'm Homer Pettigrew. You wouldn't josh me about going partners, would you? No, no, I'd sign right on in a minute. Uh, only thing is, if uh, we was partners, we'd have to kind of look out for each other, uh, trust each other, if you know what I mean. Ain't sure I do. Well, uh, if one of us was to need uh, help, for instance, why, the other one would just naturally help him without asking a lot of fool questions. What kind of help you need? You'll see in a minute. You'll stick with me clean to California? You got my promise. All right. All right. You listen. Where'd you just come from, Homer? Peoria. Well, Homer, you and me has been partners ever since we left Peoria. You're an outlaw. It's kind of a hard way of putting it, Homer. In my trade, we call it riding the high line. That sets a little easier in the mouth. You meant what you said about us being partners. Who are you? Uh, my name's Pettigrew. This here's, uh, this here's my boy, Homer. What can I do for you? How long you been here, Homer? Since last night. My, uh, my woman came down with the cholera. We just, uh, just now laid her away. Homer, did you see anybody ride by in the last little bit? Yeah, I did. He rode off in that direction, bent for leather. Expect he's the one you're after. Let's go. <laughs> Partner, maybe. But I ain't your friend. Get that straight outlaw? I'm gonna get to California come low or high water. It means taking on an outlaw as a partner, I'll do it. But don't expect me to make friends. Got that outlaw? Yeah. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> Good dog. <laughs> Well, you just don't have to look at the black side, you know. She can't be hurt too bad. You still don't get the point. That wild shot of yours can turn an undesirable female into a martyred saint. She gets laid up and we're stuck with her. 
Yeah, I'm through in this town politically. You all right, miss? I guess so. I, I don't know what made me faint like that, though. I don't usually. Well, then, let's get to the stage. They're holding it up. Nothing going. She won't be riding the stage. Not for a few days, anyway. Well, where was she hit? She'll find it painful to sit down. Just a graze. Then she can't ride the stage. No, she's real sore. I'm sorry. I should have picked some other place. Better yet, I should have picked some other town. You're the cause of all this. You're darn well going to take her west on your wagon train. She's only going to Saunders anyway. How would that be any different from the state? Well, you could make a couch for her and she could ride lying down. Like Cleopatra, on the Nile. <laughs> but I don't happen to have an extra barge. She rides the train, she's got to have an outfit. I'm sorry, Miss Jones, but we just don't happen to have a place for an odd woman. Who says I'm odd? Unless you wanted to buy a wagon. Wait a minute. Mm. Now, howdy. Uh, we're looking for the wagon master of the train that's camped up yonder. Well, uh, that's me. What can I do for you? Well, we'd like to join up with you if we can. Uh, we're on our way to California. My name's Willie Pettigrew. This here's my boy, Homer. Well, just uh, so happens we have a proposition for you, Mr. Pettigrew. I'd like you to meet Miss Clementine Jones here. Miss Jones is in kind of a fix. She uh, wants to get a ride to... Where was that, Miss Jones? Saunders. If you can take her with you, I'll find a place on the train for you. Well, I... We'd just as soon not. Uh, Homer here just lost his maw, you see. Well, the deal's off, then. Homer. No women. You let me handle this. We'll take her. Good. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Come on, brother. Come on, lady. You give me any trouble, I'm after to crush you up like a turkey and take you straight. Here. almost forgot. Oh, she needs something for a, a, a pillow. Here. Happy man when I can shake the dust of this lop eared town. For says I can't. Well, can you? Sure I can. Didn't know ladies like you set much store for cooking and such. Pink size purity leaguer. Huh? Leave her be, Homer. That was the wrong thing to say. I'll say what I please. Well, no, you won't. You'll be polite to your elders or I'll give you the back of my hand. That goes for you, too, you worthless varmint. Get out of here, Rebel. He don't like you either. Uh, 
Who's this? Mine. Did you play the mouth organ? Used to. Ain't felt like playing for a long time. Cribbage board. Ma and Pa used to play cribbage. I don't know how. Guess I don't know how to play anything anymore. It's gonna be different when I get to California. And why? Things can't be miserable everywhere. I'm setting my hopes too high if I was you, Homer. California's just a place like any place else. Things are pretty much the same everywhere. Not in California. A body can hope out there. Hope and pray. Have some kind of a chance that it'll come true. You can do that in California. It ain't the same out there. It's different. I read up on it. Everything's different. California. Better fetch some water. Well? Well what? I'll check it to you. I don't want to play. Now let's not get ourselves in a tizzy, Clemmy. We're only going to be together for four days. We'll split up at Saunders. I thought you were taking him to California. I'll get him another driver. That's all he cares about. Let's get the camp set up, huh? Want to skip it, I suppose, huh? Just pretend we're a couple of strangers. Well, you remember Pandora. Well, she opened a box and let loose a whole world of trouble. Let's just keep her closed, shall we? All right, now. I'm a bear cat for opening boxes. You always were. Oh, in five years, you haven't changed one speck. Not one speck. You don't want to face up to anything. You just want to run out. Run out? Who run out? You did. Run out my foot. I... I was in jail. If you'd have had the sense of a two-year-old, you'd have waited for me instead of... Instead of what? Working in a saloon? Well, I didn't have to spell it out for you, did I? Willie. Let's not pick over a dead carcass, shall we, Clemmy? Let's just bury it and forget it. All I knew was what you told me. You said that night when you went away that you'd be back in the morning. Well, you never showed up. And I had some pretty good reasons. I was in leg irons. I was on a train to Fort Smith. I stayed there three years. Well, you could have written to me. I did! Well, I never got it. I waited a whole month. I ran out of money, and then they put me out on the street when the rent was due. What else could I do? Anything. Anything at all but what you did. Now, that's not an unreasonable attitude for a man to take, is it? No, not for a man. No, I ruined my life working in a saloon while you were preserving your sainthood in the penitentiary. Sure, that's the way a man looks at it. But you know, one of these days we're going to get the vote. And when we do, I'm going to campaign for some new laws. Well, here is one law that ain't on the statute books. Close the box, Pandora. your head? Never better. Feels so good I can hardly stand it. How is your Never head? mind. Better keep that dog close by. He can take care of himself. Rebel! Come here! 
He minds about as good as you do. Some old Lobo wolf's have to come along, lead him off someplace, cut him to pieces. Why would he do that? I don't know, just the nature of the critter, I guess. That's just the way Lobo wolves is. Whole world's full of Lobo wolves. Just waiting for some dumb dog to come along. Not in California. Oh, Homer. You've been to California. Nope. Then you just tend to your driving, and you hang on to those dreams until you find out different. Why don't you try some on Rebel first? What for? Well, play it safe, like an Italian duke I once read about. It was the only way he could keep people from poisoning him. Used up an awful lot of dogs. It ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. You know, that's the first nice thing either of you has said to me since we started. Is your... Coming along, but tonight I think I'd just as soon stand. Oh. <laughs> Barry Cobbler. The wagon down the line is having Barry Cobbler tonight. What's so good about that? We used to have Barry Cobbler every Sunday back home in Ohio. Every Sunday of the world. Fresh berries in the summer. Preserved ones in the winter. That was before the war, of course. Seems like a lifetime ago. We never had nothing special on Sunday at all. It's funny how a thing like that can take you back. He's probably just out on the prairie someplace looking for a rabbit. Now get your boots on and go get some water for some coffee. <laughs> Clammy, come on! Oh, keep your pants on! Rebel! Your breakfast. He can't swallow. Something's happened to him. I told you he's out hunting rabbits. He'll come back. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> oh, but well, you don't want to make such a fuss over a cur dog. Yeah, a cur dog. He's all I got. What do you mean? I just got rebel, that's what I mean. I lied to you back then when you rode up. I never had any kin folks. Never. Just the two of them and they hated me. They beat me. They only took me out of that home to do chores for them. And I was glad when they got took by the cholera. That's what I mean about rebel. It's all I got. <laughs> Homer, here, come here. Go away, I don't need you. A little baby, I don't need you. I'll go catch me up a horse. Oh, 
learned something today, didn't you? You don't want no truck with a wolf trap. Now, that's a nice way to act, isn't it? Now, you'd just like to sit there for the rest of your miserable life, wouldn't you? Rebel, let's be sensible about this, shall we? I don't care a nickel about your miserable hide, but you got a buddy back there who does. I guess I'll just have to let you tear my arm off if you've got a mind to. Talk to some man to man. I'm not going to cut you with this. I'm just going to use it to pry. Now, if you was a smart dog instead of a dumb dog, you'd bring yourself along a trap wrench before you went sniffing around dead buffalo. Now, uh, now we'll just... Get, well, it's lucky it's not broken. And get the blood back in it, and we'll let you go. There. All right, all right, I know you're great. Well, let's go on home. All right. Well, let's go home. This place is just to plague me. That's exactly what I'm doing. Woke up full of poison this morning. Got to take it out on somebody. What are the berries on those bushes? There's buffalo berries. They good to eat? Sure. Sweet? Middling. Reminds me of that berry cobbler you were talking about. How'd your mother make it? it wasn't my mother. Who was it then? The cook. At the reform school I went to. She took real shine to me when I was about your age. How'd you get into reform school? This comes natural. You're born worthless, you don't have to figure out ways of getting into reform school. Well, I don't think you're so worthless. Well, I am. Now, I'll tell you one thing, young fella. You turn out like me, I'll wail the living daylights out of you. You ain't so bad at all. Now, that would be enough of your sass. Your bark's worse than your bite. You're a big, fat windbag. That's all you are. Don't you talk back to your elders, do you hear? I'll whack you another one. You will not. I will, too. One more word out of you, and you'll go to bed without any supper. And while we're on the subject, you take yourself a bath tonight, do you hear? Your neck and ears are a disgrace. Well, they're my neck and ears, and I'll blame well do what I want with them. You'll do what Clemmy says, you hear? Oh, you're a fine one to talk. You haven't shaved in a week. Bad enough traveling with an outlaw, Lord knows, without him being a messy one. You got no right Homer. to... Homer! Well, she just now you hush up! Did you fetch some water for the morning? Yes, ma'am. Chop some kindling, too. Nobody wants to play cribbage. I know how to play cribbage. Well, why don't you say so? You didn't ask me. Well, uh, do you, uh... Do you want to play a few hands? Sure. I don't know why I never thought to ask. Just never entered my mind that you'd want to play cribbage. Well, all men are
are different, I guess. Now, when I used to shave... You ever shave? Certainly I shaved. And when I did shave, I shaved when I wanted to. Not when some woman told me to shave. I didn't sneak off and do it either. Uh, it does look a little cut off with the pockets at that. Well, Clemmy's got nothing to do with it. And they ain't cut off the pockets either. Well, why did you sneak off then? Well, uh, we was out of hot water. Besides, we get to town tomorrow, come over to clean up. Anything wrong with that? No, I guess not. But if you're fretting about Homer, you can put your mind at rest. Duke can take over his wagon and look out for him. He can eat with us. Uh, you are leaving us at Saunders, aren't you? Yeah. Well, we'll pull out at sunup. Better tell your tribe we got ten hours of hard going tomorrow. I took a walk. You took a... There's no place to take a walk around here. Now, what would have happened if somebody... Well, it didn't. Besides, I got a whole pail full of buffalo berries for your confounded cobbler. If you don't hush up, I'll hope you choke on it. Oh. Willie? What? You shaved. Oh, uh, yeah, um... Uh... Well, I shaved because, uh, uh, we get into town tonight, and that's why I shaved. I shave every once in a while just to keep my hand in. Well, why don't you fix breakfast while I tend to the horses? Homer! Come on, Homer, roll out. His foot's as hot as a stove lid. What's the matter, boy? I don't feel good. Homer, how'd you get your hair wet? Your business. Homer, answer me. Did you go down to the creek? Yeah. When? Last night, after you was in bed. What were you doing down there? Taking a bath. You told me to take one, so I took one. Well, let me be. I don't feel very good. <coughs> it froze last night. What'd you want to take a bath for? Leave him alone. There's a doctor at Sony. Why'd you tell him to take a bath? I'm sorry, Willie. I... It's all right. Why don't you, uh, fix a bed up for him in the wagon? I'll go tend to the horses. Sleep as long as he can. We got a long run ahead of us. Come on. Howdy. 
George Nolan, U.S. Marshal. Chris Hale. This the train left Cinnabar last Saturday? Yeah. We hated to leave, but we had to. Saunders, where you know it. There's a doctor there. You go back to sleep. It's gonna light out when we get there. Mr. Hales found another driver for you. He'll take good care of you clean to California. Huh? You'll be better off with him anyway. He's a nice, clean cut young fella. Won't bark at you all the time. Jimmy's going, too. Yeah, I, I expect so. You'll be well shut up, both of us. Reckon you're right. Never should have took that bath. It's one of the troubles about you. You're a miserable outlaw. But you're right about a lot of things. Like what, for instance? California. You're right about California. It's just a place, that's all. I've been set in too much store by a place that's just a place. Likely be as miserable out there as anywhere else. Just a place, that's all. Homer, you don't want to make up your mind till you've seen it. I've already made up my mind. I ain't going. One place is as good as another. I'm gonna stay at Saunders. Now, Homer, that is a crazy thing for a boy to say. Your mind's made up. Well, you just... Just stop your jabber and go to sleep. Settle down too solid. We'll roll in an hour. How soon you figure we get to Saunders? Oh, around sundown if we have luck. How's the boy? Well, he's hot. I'd feel a lot happier if he was under a roof with the doctor. I get a fire started, I can offer you some coffee. Well, don't mind if I do. Let me help you. Oh, thanks, Mr. Hill. Just put it down over here for me. Thank you. The boy will sleep if you don't make a racket with that axe. All right. Well, I guess you saw that little confab I had with the marshal this morning. Marshal? Yeah, the whole territory. Nolan, they said his name was. I want to know if I'd seen a couple of riders heading towards Saunders. Fellas who tried to rob that bank in Cinnabar. You don't say. Seemed like a pretty silly waste of a good man's time trying to run those fellas down. They should pay them to stay in business. Why? Well, give the bank some confidence. Well, is that so? Yes, it is. I know what I'm talking about. I saw them in action. They were the clumsiest, stupidest, most misbegotten little group of bank robbers the good Lord ever made. <laughs> What's so funny? Don't you dare say it about my... Homer, you get back in bed. Cover up. Get! Well, I didn't mean to offend anybody. You didn't! Anyway, this marshal had the idea those fellows were heading for Saunders. They caught one of them. Guess he spilled a bean. So that marshal will probably go on into Saunders and just settle down and wait. He's right. You're the dumbest outlaw I ever made. Should have taken up another line of work. When I want your opinion, I'll ask for it. You wait and see. Nolan's going to be waiting for you in Saunders with a nice 26-man reception committee. I can drive the wagon in from here. Don't feel much like taking off with Homer this way. I can take care of him. Sassy little Noah. If they are there, how long can they put you away for? Five years, if I'm lucky. Five years? Changed his mind about California. He ain't going. Dreamed about it for years. Now he ain't going. Well, why not? Well, because of you and me, I guess. I 
Muttonhead kid. Probably go to robbing banks or something when he gets his growth. You know, I wonder what would have happened to us if you hadn't gone to robbing banks and I hadn't gone to working in a saloon. No sense chewing on that. Not now. You might have had a dress shop. I always used to love to sew when I was a little girl. You know, my pa used to raise the best hogs in the state of Kentucky. But that's what they told me, anyway. I always kind of thought maybe I'd like to raise hogs. I wonder how California is for hog raising. <laughs> you won't find out any more than I will. We'll pull into Saunders and I'll get me a job at the Nugget Saloon and we'll climb into a jail wagon and five more years in the penitentiary. <laughs> well, you'd think a man would learn, wouldn't you? Take 30-odd years to teach him something. Really? I won't take it. Oh, Willie, don't be a dumbhead all your life. Clemmy, I ain't gonna leave Homer when he's sick this way. Just put your money back and shut up. Why don't you get him back? Nope. You sure were behind the barn door when the brains were passed out. Let me, I don't want to hide no more. I'd just soon have it over with. Why do you want it over with? I have this in my carpet bag. Been saving it for either my wedding or my funeral. Forty-year-old brandy. Here. Oh, come on, drink up. It'd be a shame if there was any left when Nolan comes for you. What are you thinking about? Oh, I was just thinking. Thinking about that hog farm in California. Guess I got the fever from Homer. You reckon that'd wait for five years? I reckon I would. Huh. It isn't pneumonia, but he didn't miss it by much. You're gonna have to watch him pretty close for the next few days. Be two dollars. I'm broke. Here you are. Thank you, ma'am. Miss, can the boy travel? If you keep him right where he is, he can. Here, give him one of these every four hours for the next couple of days. Good night. Good night. Get out of here. Nope. Sit right here and wait for him. Willie! No! Now, Clemmy, you listen to me. Now, you take good care of him, you hear? You said you could get yourself a job in a dress shop. Well, you get it. He's a good, strong boy, and he can help you. And you wait for me, you hear? Wait for me, Clemmy. We can wash everything up. We can wash out the past and start fresh in California. I know we can, Willie. California's not just a place. It's a state of mind. It's different. Everything's going to be different. How's the boy? He's going to be all right. Good. Well, I've just been up to town looking for that marshal. Funny thing, he'd already been there and gone. They caught the second one of those would-be bank robbers and headed on east again, the whole kit and caboodle. I have a suspicion if the other fellow would turn himself in to Judge Corey at Saunders, 
He might just get a suspended sentence, providing he left the territory. Well, we'll be rolling out of sunup. Night.